Today's topic is about basic properties of text widget. Let's continue with the text widget that we mentioned as child in the container on the previous video. Text widget only takes a string within its parentheses, although it can be manipulated by string interpolation, and I will be mentioning it a lot on the coming videos, so take your time. Now let's get on with the properties of a text widget. These are all the available properties of text widget. Let's start with the style property. It is the most commonly used property in a text widget, and let's see what can we do with it. Font size is a property of text still which allows us to manipulate the size of the text. Fench width is a property that helps us to change the thickness of a text, feel free to play around with it. Like container, text widget to have a color property to change the color of the text. Now let's add more lines of text in the widget to test out rest of the properties of a text widget. Softrack is a boolean property which is by default set to true, it wraps the text to multi-line or single line, according to the size of the parent widget. Next property is overflow, this property shows us how the text to be seen within the parent widget, see the different properties of text overflow. Another basic important property of text widget is max lines. This property helps us to set how many lines of text to be shown within the widget. Text widget 2, have an alignment property known as text align. To set how text should be aligned within the widget, look at the simulator. How container alignment and text alignment work together to get our desired position of the text. That should wrap up all the basic properties of text widget that are most commonly used. Thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe to get netted for the upcoming Flutter widget videos.